In this video I will go over the setup of OpenVPN with a dynamic DNS, so you do not need to have a static IP for your home network. Start by heading over to noip.com and create a user, or log in if you already have one. Once inside, click Dynamic DNS, followed by No IP Hostnames. To create your dynamic DNS hostname, click Create Hostname. All you need to do here is typing in a hostname, then click Create Hostname. Once that is done, you can copy the name of it and head over to PFSense. Here you can navigate to Services, then Dynamic DNS, and click Add. Paste your DNS address into the field next to Hostname. In Service Type, select No IP Free if you use the same one as I. Now you can navigate down and fill out username and password. This is the user for noip.com. And then finally click Save. This might take a while, as PFSense has to contact noip.com for authentication. Now it's time to configure the VPN. Navigate to VPN, then in the drop-down menu click Open VPN. Here you can click Wizards to easily set up the VPN. Authentication type can stay as local user access, so just click Next. The first time you are setting up OpenVPN, you might have to set up some certifications. For Certificate Authority, give it a name. Country code, state or province and city is optional. Click Add New CA when you're done. For Server Certificate, just add a name and click Create New Certificate. Now for the server setup. Local port can stay the same, or you can change it if you wish. Then scroll down to Tunnel Settings. In Tunnel Network, type in an IP address that you do not already use, followed by slash 24. When redirect gateway is checked, all your network traffic will be routed through your VPN. And then for Local Network, here you can type in the addresses of networks you wish to be able to access from the VPN, followed by slash 24. If you wish to add multiple, you can separate them by a comma. Then scroll down and click Next. On this page, check the boxes next to Firewall Rule and Open VPN Rule, then click Next again, followed by Finish in the next window. Now to create the user you wish to connect with the VPN. Click System, and in the drop-down menu, User Manager. Here you can click Add. Give it a username, and type in a password for it twice. Then scroll down to Certificate and check the box to create a user certificate. Give the certificate a name and make sure the certificate authority is the correct one. Then scroll down and hit Save. To more easily export the VPN configuration, we are going to install a package. Navigate to System and click Package Manager. Here you can click Available Packages. And in the search box, type in Export. What we are looking for is OpenVPN Client Export. Click Install on that package, then Confirm in the next window. Let it install. And when it's done you can navigate over to VPN, then Open VPN. Here you should see a new option, named Client Export. Click that. All you should have to change here is the hostname resolution. That should be pointing to your dynamic DNS address. Then scroll down and click Save as Default. And scroll down again, but this time to OpenVPN Clients. Navigate to the client you wish to export the configuration for. For my part, I will be installing it on a Windows machine. Under Current Windows Installers, clicking 64-bit will give you an .exe file you can install on a Windows machine. Once downloaded, you can install it on any Windows machine you wish. But you will probably get the warning. Here you can just click More Info and Run Anyway. Now, just follow the installation steps. And when you're done, you should be able to connect to your VPN if everything is set up correctly. I hope this was of some use. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.